Josh Zellman with TechCrunch, and we're here at NYU for the monthly meeting of the New York Tech Meetup, the world's largest meetup. And as you can see, this is a packed house. More than 800 people are waiting for founders of innovative companies to present their products. What we showcase every month is 10 to 12 of the best startups, and it's a demo show and tell. Show us your technology, show us your app, show us how you built it, show us why it works, tell us a little bit about yourself and where, what your plans are for it, and connect with your audience and find people to work with, to partner with, to hire, or to help you grow your business. It's not about how much money you raised, it's not about who your uh, advisory board is, uh, it's not about even how interesting your business model is, it's all about will this be an awesome demo. The New York Tech Meetup starts with a lot of people gathering by the front doors of the Super Bowl Center here at NYU and making their way down into the audience. Everybody takes their seats, we try to get started right on time, and we try to jump right into the demos as fast as possible because that's what everybody is really here to see. So tonight we have demos from a wide breadth of, of startups. One is a company called Meet Genius. They're doing these awesome interactive child uh, stories that where you can overlay your voice, uh, you can customize it to your kid's name. Uh, another one is called Brainscape, and it's like they're using these really cool algorithms to help you learn things, whether it's a language or math or vocabulary. Uh, we're also seeing something from XFM, uh, ex.fm, which is a very cool browser plugin that allows you to treat all the music that are in your feeds like it's your iTunes. Um, we're seeing a uh, uh, some some cool iPad applications that are going to be up there. One is Ask Local, which is a hyper local thing, uh, a social networking thing called Ado. We have about ten of them, and I, I'm uh, forgetting all of them, but it's going to be a great class. My name is Tim Coulter, and I'm from Corkboard.me. I'm Suraj Patel. I'm, uh, I'm at Amapur. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO. Um, and what we do is tell you when your friends want to do the same thing around the same time as you. Three weeks ago, we actually started with a public beta. My name is Amanda Payton, and my company is Message Party. Message Party is a geo-blogging service. It lets users attach uh, rich content like stories and photos and links to specific places. My name is Christopher Kennedy, and I'm with Lemonade Stand. Hi, I'm John Gottfried, and I'm also with Lemonade Stand. And my name is David Kay. What it allows you to do is in 30 seconds or less, post a listing online and have a buyer instantly call you and close a deal. We are showing the creme de la creme. In terms of launches tonight, we had a number of them. One was Message Party, uh, which was a white combinator company last summer. Uh, they relaunched today. Uh, another one was Runnins. Uh, Runnins is this beautiful uh, running application, just very well thought through. Uh, a gorgeous app. It's going to be coming out in iTunes uh, uh, app uh, soon. Uh, Readability uh, launched an API contest uh, tonight uh, with thousands of dollars in prizes. I think the highlight for me was uh, was finding out that Craig Newmark was actually sitting in the audience when we were commenting about our. Uh, I guess so. We see ourselves as a Craigslist alternative. You know, I like in the very beginning how they had a lot of very short presentations. Uh, I thought those were the most effective. This is my first time here, so it was a little bit confusing to me how they were split up in different segments, you know, in terms of like 60 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, so it took me a while to kind of catch on to what the program was. I think that would help people, especially since there's a lot of new people coming. New York Tech Meetup community can do a number of things better than it's currently doing. One is, is to have more women in the audience and on stage, more people of color in the audience and on stage, and more connected to the, the fabric of the city of New York. Come get a beer with everybody. We're going to Amity Hall. Thanks to New York City for putting that, uh, for organizing that. I believe that the New York tech community will be the number one industry in New York by the year 2020, eclipsing the financial services industry. And New York City will not just be known for Broadway or the Empire State Building, but it will be known for great technology.